Hey everyone. So in today's vlog, I want to um, touch on the subject of visualizations and manifesting. So the first thing that you need to do with manifestation or the law of attraction is feel. So how do you feel? You, you hear this all the time, right? It's really hard to feel good when you, you're not good because of the physical reality around us, right? This is where visualization comes in and it's worked for me. This is why I want to share it with you. When you're in that moment of despair and nothing around you feels good, your body doesn't feel good, you're, you may be in pain or maybe you've gained weight, that's how I've been feeling. But how can you get over that? And the best and quickest way to do it is by using visualization. So what I do when I feel not good, but I know what I want, I know what I want to attract, I will close my eyes and my vision of like just this peaceful state, I love water. So what I'll see is I will see me with my perfect body in my mind, what's perfect to me, not to anybody else. This is perfect to me and comfort for me. I just visualize myself. I love floating in water. Like, you know when you go to the pool and you just kind of spread out and the water holds you up? That is my most favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. If somebody asks, like, let's go paddle boarding or what do you want to do today? My favorite place to be is on the water, in the water, and just like floating. I love it so much. And when I'm visualizing myself floating in the water with the body that I want, I begin to feel and visualize the sun on me. So I'll feel the sun ray, rays warming up my body. Then I'll start feeling how the wa water in the ocean is a little bit cooler, but the sun is warming up the water and the water is now warming my organs up. So I, I feel that warmth. I feel myself floating. And then I begin to f like see the sparkles in the water. Like, you know, when the sun hits the water and it just sparkles, it glistens. I can see the water glistening and then I can hear it. You know when your ears go underwater and it's so muffly, but it's so peaceful, you can hear the ocean. I will begin to just like listen to that muffling sound and I can hear the sound of the ocean in my ears and I just hold that vision. This is really important. It's to it's important to hold this for at least two minutes in your mind's eye. And you will automatically begin to feel it. And you'll begin to, um, like your heart chakra will start opening up because you're in it, you're there. It's, a, it's now a reality to your mind. Your mind doesn't know the difference between what's going on here physically and what you're dreaming up. And that is the quickest way to get out of a funk, is to use the technique of visualizations. The visualization, your feel good place, that's a physical place, you can go there in an instant in your mind's eye and your body will be, because it's familiar, familiar to your body and your mind, you will start feeling the sensations as if you are really there. And in turn, that will change the mode of feeling from the negative things that you don't want. It will open up your heart because that is the biggest thing. Once your heart um, chakra opens, then the throat will open, then the um, third eye will open, then the crown will open. If your heart's not open, these stay closed. So it opens up the heart chakra because you start to feel good and then in turn, the heart chakra will open up the other chakras for you. And once these chakras begin to open as well, then you can come out of it and I promise you, you will feel at 
peace, that anger that you had before you went into this visualization or the frustration or whatever it may be that was causing you fear, essentially coming from ego, you can change that ego into soul. That's what you're doing when you visualize. Visualization is a very, very important tool. Daydream. Daydreaming, I know in society it's frowned upon, but daydreaming is so important. It is so important because daydreaming essentially allows you to feel whatever it, it allows you to feel whatever you're feeling in that daydream, which is usually a state of happiness, right? So yeah, that's one really quick tool of like how to switch your ego, how to get out of that ego state of mind and get into your soul state of mind. Love you guys.